Well, here we are at the uh, Walt's house for our game. And Walt, what are we playing today? Sands of the Sudan. Uh, interesting thing happened to me on the way to Historicon. I ran into a fella at the bar. His name is Dave Doherty, I believe. But anyways, he has a uh, uh, blogging site called A Man With His Brush. And so we're sitting there over beer talking, and he says, you know, you guys are putting on Pony Wars, but he goes, I play that version in the Sudan. It's called Sands, Sands of the Sudan. And he says, um, it's based on Pony Wars. And Peter Gilder uh, put this set of rules together way back when for the Holiday Center. So here it is a week later, and it's like, well, we can do this. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get, give it a tryout, see uh, how many Brits can survive getting to the Oasis. All right, and we have a full crew here. We have J Joe, Wave, and then Mike. We have Mike here. And, of course, Kevin, Mr. Handsome himself. And we have Derek along. And, of course, we cannot forget Goober the Traveling Bear. So this table, I'm going to do a quick scan here. Walt's table, like all Walt tables, is uh, really impressive. I love these little brush patches. So we have a huge table today. It is 12 feet, Walt, by yeah, 12, 12 by six. 12 by six today. So we have lots of uh, lots of table space, and we have a lot of figures in 28 millimeter. Uh, Derek brought his army. Mike brought his army. Kevin brought his army. So uh, we'll be uh, running this for the next several hours. All right, I'm introducing Mike here. He is our overall British commander. Mike, can you go over our troops and who's commanding what? Well, we've got several different troops today. Uh, we've got some Sudanese over here. And they're uh, commanded by Bill Molyneux himself. Lefty uh, Molyneux. Yep. He's missing his and lady. <laughs> I've got my troops here. There are three British standard companies. One's in skirmish. The other two are in column. There's a, another group of British uh, Highlanders. Scottish, they're not British. <laughs> and who, who belong, who, are you running those? Aye, uh, it's Digby McHaggis. McHaggis, okay. So, and then what do we have at the far edge? Far edge is uh, three more companies of British regulars. Uh, each group and, of companies have an officer. And they're commanded by Derek himself? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. And today's goal is to get from this edge of the table, effectively up to the oasis for water and the village for shelter. And the village for shelter. And our Sudanese players, Mike, can you? Uh, who, who's going to be running the Sudanese? Or um, I'm at the the, the bodies? Yes, the <laughs> fuzzy wuzzies. There he is, right there. Joseph. Joseph and, and Walt. And Walt. Who's watching TV. And who's watching, who's watching TV. TV at the moment. <laughs> wow. This looks like a fun game. It's similar to Pony Wars. I'm sure we won't have any problems getting to the Oasis. So uh, we'll come back throughout the day and do these one little minute snippets. Well, I'm cutting into the we'll action really quick. Back, back we have... Uh, we Troops on the board. Well, well, Our columns are advancing. Well. Kevin's Highlanders have taken to the high ground. And we do have some modest forces have arrived. Um, no, I don't move so oh, we God. also have some Mahdi forces here. And they're starting to gather. It's like the gathering of the storm. And Watt's figures here are stunning. So we'll come back to the action in a little bit, but our forces are advancing gallantly. Indeed. Well, I'm swinging into the game really quick for a quick snippet. Um, it looks like Mike's skirmishers are being hit by mighty forces. Mike, uh, what do you think you're going to do? Are you going to be a hold Die out? valiantly. See, how come you didn't? You decide not to uh, run off and retreat? You decide to stand and volley? Because we're trying these rules out for the first time. All right. We need to see what happens. There are a lot of troops appearing all over see the table. See if lessons to be learned. It of course, like Walt is our game it's master, and he is being very fair, it's very fair. Bad idea. <laughs> so we'll come back and see how this uh, action happens here. Well, Mike, what happened with the uh, Mahdi cavalry that came in and attacked your skirmish line? We fired at point-blank range and missed. Uh, 
They in turn killed half the unit. We only killed two in return. So the Mahdi troops did not lose. Uh, so they're going to stay in combat. And uh, you lost half your skirmishers in one. Yes, I did. Half a company. And, and what was the number you needed to score a hit? Anything what? but a one. And what did you roll? A one. Okay. <laughs> All right. As is my norm. <laughs> When we, we have a lot of action going on the table, and we'll come back in a little bit. Well, Kevin, we're waiting for Walt to do our next turn. How are things proceeding? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm not in charge. I'm on the way from Tipperary here to get to where we need to be. And uh, what's interesting is Walt does the reactions for units. They run away. Joe does reactions for modest units. They charge. <laughs> so, Joe, is is there something different in the way you're handling the dice? Clearly. Well, <laughs> just, uh, just random roll. Just Something's random scared. roll. Well, I'm Walt is back, so... I'm just scared of Derek. That's it. All right. The body forces are afraid of Derek and his superior British infantry. That's it. Six. Okay, I'm just fire. breaking yes. into the action okay. as my British players are deciding yeah. what they're going to do. We have a lot of Mahdi forces coming in. in my, plant, my Egyptian troops are being attacked. Mike has been overrun, so still, and the cavalry is coming in on his, I guess it would be company number two. And then I have a unit way out I'm in the back. I'm on the edge, but they're really inside. And then well, Kevin, okay. it's got his Highlanders know, forming I'm, up. I'm right, uh, I'm like right so I want to try to find so, a wheel. This way. Yes, this I, system I is uh, just like Pony Wars in many ways. Derek, you're going to be the reserve. And yeah. Derek is coming in as the reserve. You'll be the, the one that goes home. All right, we just broke into the action for a minute to uh, keep the video going. And uh, I have a feeling we're going to see some uh, action. Did you ever ride? Walt, can you all give me a quick recap around what turn seven? And uh, we're using this new system. Take it away. <laughs> wow. Might want to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I need to edit that out? You should talk to, to somebody on the winning side right now. Cause Which side is that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Wa is lost because his card was 400 camels. camels. And we what did no, he say? We have no camels. <laughs> and we have a house full of figures everywhere. And for Wa to say, I don't camels. have that particular yeah. figure is quite amazing. Yes, and 54. I camel can substitute Gordon's camel core. Or we can just use horses. I think that's what we're going to do. And call them camels. All you know? right. Well, um, first every other one, so we know. We, we have uh, forces being attacked, and my Egyptians are fighting gallantly, holding off uh, Mahdi forces. We don't have the collars. All right, we're coming in for a little bit of video here. It was the We've uh, the green, and there were in set Zulu. this up, and well, boy, this backboard looks screen. just stunning, yeah. Walt. Just yeah. stunning. Yeah. And so we'll just add this to our video. Well, Goober is down here trying to measure up how far his Sudanese troops will charge. <laughs> Laugh, life is short. Well, we are breaking for lunch, and I was just going to do a quick snippet. Um, Mike, you're still here. Do you have any comments you'd like to say about our game? Uh, so far, we've been able to successfully drive off the Mahdi's and or kill them. Uh, yes, we've suffered one company complete casualties. That was mine. Uh, everybody else seems to be doing okay. The what happened here? The Highlanders. I think Kevin drove off that unit. They drove off a very large unit that decided to disappear. Okay. Uh, combination of shooting and combat. The cavalry that charged the Sudanese. Uh, they were pretty much decimated. One unit decided to flee. The other unit has decided to pull out and regroup. So we're slowly advancing, and, and not I, quite to the half table. And back here, I think there's over 40 figures, figures of, of the mounted. mounted troops ready to launch into the attacks. Yep. All right. Well, we'll head upstairs and have lunch and then get back to our game.
We're breaking into the action. Uh, Walt pulled the card. Well, what was that card? The All the Mighty Forces Attack? Yeah, when you pull a second drum card, uh, everyone immediately attacks everybody on the board. So we've got, uh, we got what, 15 cav there. We got 20 cav there. We got 12 cav here. We have riflemen. Those are cav disguise. Actually, those are camels disguised as cavalry. And they're heading straight for... Your Sudanese. Your Egyptians. And over here... Uh, Jim O'Neill in Scotland. I know you follow my channel and another guy, David, in Scotland. Uh, Kevin is running the Highlanders, and he has been fighting really, really well today, rolling good dice. Kevin, can you say how well your Highlanders are doing? Uh, we're going to knock them all the way back to Inverness. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at Kevin's Scottish accent? I wasn't using the Scottish accent. <laughs> Well, I gotta say your Highlanders are doing well. All right, we'll come back to the action a little bit later, and I do not know if I will survive that attack there. I hope not. Ah, oh, you will. He's penetrating you. All right. Well, we have some hot action here. Walt's uh, Muslim cavalry is driving the zippers, and it's driving <laughs> Kevin's Highlander skirmishers zipper. back into. The open. Into the open, into Derek. Now, what did you say that I, that I get off? Not that great at all. We're trying to find out if Derek um, gets affected by, I guess, Kevin no, running through them in fear. On North Africa. Just another quick yeah. snippet of our exciting Africa game. Question. And uh, said, I'm North African. I, know I drove off this Morocco unit is, here is myself. with my Egyptians. However, that. Um, That's Viking. Cavalry unit is coming in hot and heavy, and the center is in jeopardy. And Walt is kicking butt on that flank, and Derek is finally in the game. Huh? Since when is Walt He's kicking being butt attacked. over here? We've driven off two or three units already. <laughs> Says the man whose troops are running away, and the other guys have yet to fight. My, I don't think it, <laughs> no, notice the ammunition here. Oh, oh, the, whose Highlanders are these, Walt? I think those are Lieutenant Colonel Hansoms. Oh, and they're double sixes. That means you have yet to fire in four hours. I'm not a target. <laughs> oh, my. That's uh, cowards all say. We, we got to get the mop and bucket out for Watts floors later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is just a fun quick snippet. We'll be back later. All right, as Walt's checking on some charts, I just jumped into the game really quick with the camera, and my uh, Egyptians here are holding off the fuzzy wuzzies, but they're getting ready to charge once again. Uh, Derek is heat, uh, he's hot in the action now, being uh, attacked by Walt's cavalry. Away. And uh, of course, Kevin, double sixes, he's yet to fire. Another game where his men just don't. Can I shoot at you uh, that melee? Now, no. My Egyptian so. troops are about to get you. overrun by Walt. The Mahdi troops have you, just you know? decimated my front line. As I back away, you'll see there is a two-foot gap. Once Walt trashes them, he will be able to go straight through the line. So, in the background, back at the village, Joseph is rallying his dervishes for the final push. You can close the fuzzies in. I will. Fuzzies are going in. Now, fuzzies are going in. Other guys, are they charging or do I have to roll for Well, the fuzzy wuzzies are going in. And it looks bleak. Joseph hopefully uh, will roll poorly when he goes into <laughs> my, my Egyptian troops. But as you can see, it looks bad. And then Mike is being attacked by Joseph too on this flank. And uh, we're getting pressure from both the front and the back of this line. I really think uh, Walt and his Muslim forces are going to overrun us soon. Well, I'm uh, breaking in really quick in our battle action. My Egyptians are gone. I have no command left. Walt kicked my butt, knocked out both units. The center is clear. My officer is running down the road screaming. They're coming through. They broke through the line. Um, we have Derek holding on this far flank. Right now, the center is in uh, dire straits. If Mike and Kevin's flank attacks do not slow down the Mahdi forces, this is it for the British. Because back here, the rear guard is getting chopped up by Joe's fuzzy wuzzies. Uh, they won. All right, well, here we are, and we're concluding our game. The 
Fuzzy Wuzzies and Dervishes have fought gallantly. And um, we're going to go right to this part of this battle. You'll see a lone Highlander, a Piper. And he is holding out against, I, it looks over, 20, 20 mighty horsemen. Mike Kennedy over here has one figure that's holding out. But it, it's looking bleak. Let's go to Walt, who is our game master today, and get some feedback. Walt? Hi, Bill. How are you today? <laughs> Doing okay. Um, fun game. Um, mm -hmm. We had some questions, but it's the first time we've played it, but we pretty much got it squared away. Um, it's interesting because it's, a, it's streamlined compared to when we played Pony Wars. Um, the, the charts are much easier to read, uh, to, to play through. Um, I was hoping to have more ambushes show up, but that didn't happen. But it looked like they weren't necessary. Um, the British walked right into the trap. Uh, they just thought they were going to have a cakewalk. But then it got so hot that for about five turns, they could only move for half. And then a sandstorm kicked up. And that made it to where they couldn't see beyond 24 see. inches. So they, they had their challenges. So... Now, uh, I guess we need to ask Kevin. Kevin, what? how did your Highlanders do? And I have a couple of uh, people from Scotland that watch my YouTube channel. They did great! <laughs> <laughs> Say, Jim O'Neill from Scotland, who uh, loves my channel. Can you point out your Highlander here in the midst? The Mad Piper fights on. <laughs> Afraid of no odds. Afraid of what? <laughs> no odds. Go nods? <laughs> Those neither. You're not afraid of nothing. <laughs> All right, in my Egyptian troops, uh, we'll get to them. Derek, it seemed like you were uh, the rear guard in today's battle. Uh, lost two guys, but that's all right. Um, and, I how, anyway. and it looks like you fired once during the I, game? Uh, I fired over here, too. Oh, okay. He can count into my rear. <laughs> so more than the Scots. And then... Uh, we're going to go over here to Joe. We'll hit Mike last. Uh, Joe, you were a little mean to my Egyptians with your fuzzy wuzzies. That's right. We uh, sliced and diced. And uh, all my Egyptians are dead, plus my commander. And then, Mike, um, how did you do here? Well, out of 36 figures, plus one commander, I've got four left. Four so left. So we're, we're getting hammered. Well, we very... Little odds of surviving. Uh, I guess that's about it. Um, Walt, do you have anything else you want to say about our game today? Oh, what, what's our rules in case someone uh, comes in again at the very end? Oh, Sudan. Let me... Uh, we got to get the... There we go. Thank you. And Mike, where can, where can someone purchase these? I have no idea. I got the last. <laughs> <laughs> I got the last copy from on Military Matters from Dennis Shorthouse. Okay. Uh, it, it says it's from Carlo Pagano. Uh, there's an ISBN number. All right. I've heard. Uh, so I guess Google will be used for that. Yeah. Sands of the Sudan, and we had a great time mm -hmm. with it. And I think we're going to close out this video and say uh, the uh, Mahdi players did win. And thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. And thank you for watching.